Rocky Breck. And look at this. This is a giant dump truck. Oh boy, I'm so excited to learn about it. We're at the Moses Lake Roundup. We're at William R. Fairchild Airport. This is Lincoln Park BMX. A BMX track is a bike track. I'm in the desert and I just got back from a big hike. These are all the things that I need to make a smoothie. <laughs> And look at this. This is a giant dump truck. Oh boy, I'm so excited to learn about it. Well today we're at CNJ Excavating here in Squim, Washington. And we're gonna explore this big machine. Are you ready? Come on! right here is called the cab and this is where the driver sits obviously and this right here is the box and it can hold 25 tons that's like six elephants isn't that crazy oh wow next over here look at all of these tires these tires right here go down for extra support for the box when it's full of all that weight that's a lot of weight for this big dump truck to hold and this right here is the booster axle and it's extra support for the dump truck while it's driving down the road. This right here, these are called airbags and these are for the suspension. Isn't that cool? Let's check out the inside of this big box. Whoa, look how big this thing is. Whoa, you guys, you gotta come see it, come on. Wow, look at this thing. This is so big. I cannot believe people have figured out how to make this big thing hold so much weight. This is an incredible machine. Wow, are you ready to check out the inside of the cab? Come on, let's do it. Wow, we look at the inside of this cab. Oh my goodness, this is a big steering wheel. Whoa, and over here we have the horn. Should I honk it? <laughs> that was so loud. Oh my goodness. Well, look at this dashboard. We have all these different gauges to, fi to figure out if we're, how fast we're going, which is the speedometer. We've got the fuel levels, oils, brake compression. Wow, that's a lot of cool gadgets in this dump truck. Check it out up here. It's super cushy. Wow. Wowee, check this out. This right here is the radio. So if you're working with the crew or someone's falling behind, you say, breaker, breaker, coming in. You ready for me, Bobby? Okay, we'll be there in a little bit. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. And this right here, this is the lever to dump the box. Do you want to see it in action? Oh boy, come on. Well, before we start this thing up, let's check out the engine. Oh boy. Look at this giant hood coat. Oh, you have to be super strong to pull it open. <laughs> Wowee! Check out the size of this engine. This is a 430 horsepower Cummins engine, baby. Wow, that is one powerful machine. Well, I think we're ready to hear it start. Let's do it.
guys, it sure was fun learning all about dump trucks with you today. Well, that's the end of this episode. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, CNJ Excavating, for letting me explore this dump truck. We'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>
my job at the rodeo is to have fun and help protect the bull riders and make sure the crowd's having a good time. Oh, I like it. So do you distract the bulls? Uh, I'm the man in the barrel, the can, out in the middle of the arena. Oh, There's some okay. other guys that do that, but I help them out. Oh, cool. That sounds like a fun job. All right, well, it's good to meet you. You betcha. Bye-bye. Check out all these beautiful horses and their cowgirls all lined up to get ready for the opening ceremony. The event's about to start. I can't wait. Bussin, which is where all the young kids get to ride some sheep and they gotta hold on and stay on as long as they can.
lovely lady. She's a horse trainer. She That's trains Jessica, and she's horses herself. This is her horse.
I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>
those parts. So this right here is the propeller. Look how big that is. And the outside of this is the fuselage. We have the wings. There are two wings on this airplane and a wing strut. Right here we have the flaps. From here over is the flaps and the aileron right here. This helps it turn from left to right. Pretty cool. Wow, check out these numbers and letters on the side of the airplane. Pretty cool, huh? Well, this is the registration number and every aircraft registered in the United States starts with the letter N. But in airplane terms, they use a word to help describe letters so that if you can't fully hear, are you saying N or M? I can't tell. You can say November 172 Bravo Echo. Well, here at the back of the plane, we have an elevator and this makes it go up or down. Pretty neat, huh? And this is the rudder and it helps point the airplane in the way that it needs to go. Wow, there are so many cool parts of this airplane. Look at this one. This is a really tiny elevator. Wow, check out over here. This is the landing gear. Oh boy, there are three tires. See that? And then you have some brakes attached to the landing gear. So when you're coming down really fast, you're able to stop your airplane. Hey, Brecky Breck, would you like to go for an airplane ride? I would love it! Wow, come on, let's go! Wowee! Look at us! We're in an airplane! Check this out. This right here is the yoke. And right here we have the throttle. To go faster, do you push that in or pull back? You push it forward to go push faster. It. Oh, wow. And what's this one? That's the fuel cutoff. Oh. So we're going to push that forward before we start. So when he starts the engine, he's going to wait a minute to listen for any sounds that he hears if it's abnormal before he puts his headset on. That's really smart. So we push the mixture control forward so that allows the fuel to go into the engine. And then I check to make sure that other switches are turned off and that everything's in the right position. And then we're just about ready to start. So before we turn the key, which starts the propeller, we always yell out the window and we go clear <laughs> to make sure that it's just a safety thing. Sometimes there could be people close by. Clear.
is super awesome. Well, when you're done flying in an airplane, you gotta make sure to refuel for the next flight so that you don't forget. So we parked right up here in front of the fuel pump. Wow, check this place out. This is the mechanic hangar, and all the mechanics hang out in here waiting to fix airplanes. So uh, what are you doing over here? I'm installing spark plugs. Oh, he's installing spark plugs. That seems like an important thing on an airplane. I want you to meet someone. Hi, Hi. this is my friend Darcy. <laughs> what are you doing, Darcy? I am inspecting this engine to oh, make wow. sure it's safe. So you're a mechanic? I am a mechanic. Do you know how to fly airplanes too? I do. Whoa. <laughs> how long is the training to become a pilot? Um, it depends on how often that you practice. Wow. So it took me 10 months. 10 months? Wow, she really wanted to be a pilot. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Wow, well it is so important to have mechanics who know what they're doing can make sure that the airplanes are safe and ready to fly. Thanks again, Darcy. You're welcome. You see this plane behind me? This is a very special plane. This is a Pilatus PC-12, and it's used to help people. So I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. This is my friend Andrew. What do you do, Andrew? I'm a flight nurse with Life Flight Network. Wow, that sounds like a really fun job. So what is this plane used for? This plane is used to transport sick people, patients that are Whoa. injured, bring them to hospitals where they can get better care. Wow, so you have a very important job. Can we take a look on the inside of this plane? Let's go. Come, Come on. on. Wow, look at the inside of this thing. Oh my goodness. So Andrew, what are these seats for? These seats are for the medic and the nurses to sit. And this is the bed that we put the patient on. Wow. And if it's not uncomfortable for them, we can put their head up Ooh. or down. Wow. And we can put all of our medical equipment here. And in the back there, we have drawers for it as well. Ooh, let's check out some of these drawers. <laughs> in this drawer here, we have suction. Just like if you're at the dentist office, where they can, Ooh, can suck liquid out, huh? Yeah, out of people's mouths or other places wow. that we need to. And then in here, we have extra oxygen. oxygen tanks. We have stuff for babies in here. Wow. And then breathing equipment as well. Wow, so they thought of every situation that you could possibly think of for someone in need of help. So you might wonder how we move the patient in and out of here. We can do it with this bed right here. Whoa, look and at that. And we can slide them back in. So it definitely looks like you need some help. How many people are on this plane to help a patient? We have a pilot, we have a flight nurse, and then we have a medic, and then we have the patient. So that makes four. Four people on this plane, wow. -y. Andrew brought a bunch of medical equipment out here to show us. Isn't this awesome? Oh my goodness, so what is this right here, Andrew? This is our monitor. It's like a little TV that we can hook up to the patient to see what their heartbeat is doing. Wow. And how they're breathing and oxygenating. Wow, so you can know all of their vital signs and they're in the clear and good to go or they're getting better. That's really cool. What about this backpack? This I like this backpack, it's the color red. <laughs> This backpack here carries a lot of our medical equipment as well. And here we have some medicines. If people are hurting really badly, we can give them medicine to make them feel better. We have one in here that has IVs in it as well. Whoa. If you've ever seen an IV, we can put IVs in patients and give them Liquid. IV fluids to make them feel better as well. Wow, so if they're dehydrated, sometimes you need an IV to get hydrated again. That's really neat. And then we also have what's called an IV pump here. This is if we're giving special medicine and it has to be given in just the right amount so that we can't make any mistakes. Wow, so that'll keep track and monitor how much is coming into their bloodstream at the right time. 
And then kids, we have a lot more specialized medicines in here as well. Whoa. Have you ever been stung by a bee? Oh wow, I have definitely been stung by a so bee before. So if you get stung by a bee, have you ever had a medicine called Benadryl or Ooh, anything like that? Yeah. We have that in here as well. And we have medicine for people that are having trouble with their heart as well. Wow. Have you ever had to fly to somebody who got stung by a bee? No, but some of my coworkers that I know, they have done that before. Because sometimes people can have allergic reactions to bees like that, and I have, I don't have allergic reactions, but it can be really scary, so I'm really glad you guys are here to help. Oh my goodness, it takes a lot of equipment and a lot of really intelligent special skills to be able to help people just the way that they need in case of an emergency. This is amazing. Do you want to go check out the cockpit? Come on, let's go. So you ever watch your parents drive their car? <laughs> this is where the pilot drives the airplane. He can steer it right here. What is that called? This is called a yoke on an airplane. Oh, not a steering wheel, it's a yoke. Very interesting. And then, he can give it gas, like a gas pedal right here. And here's wow. where he can adjust the power on it to make it go fast and take off. Wowee! Guess what? They use another vehicle for life flight. Let's go check out the helicopter. Come on! Wow, do you see this big blue machine behind me? This is a helicopter, and right now, we're inside the helicopter hangar, and this is where Lifelight keeps their helicopter, so let's go check it out. Andrew, this thing is amazing. I love how open it is. So what's the helicopter used for? The helicopter moves patients just like the airplane, but the helicopter can get into places where there's not a big runway that the airplane can't get into. Wow. And it can land at hospitals, or it can land out in the forest if we have to all kinds of places. Wow, that's amazing. This thing can go up and down and sideways, but an airplane can't necessarily do that as fast. Very cool. Whoa, whoa, what is this? This is our helmet. When we're flying, we wear helmets. And one of the reasons we do, because the helicopter is pretty loud. And so we can put our helmet on, and we can also talk to each other we have a little microphone right here. Wow, Roger, Roger, can I try it on? You sure can. Oh boy. Hi, I'm Pilot Ricky Brick, ready for takeoff. Very good. Wow, that's amazing. Check the inside of this thing out. This is the yoke. You see how this is a lot different than the, than the yoke in the airplane? You can move this thing all around because this can fly in multiple directions. That is pretty neat. Wow, we life flight sure is amazing. Thank you so much, Andrew, for showing me around this helicopter and the airplane. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. Let's listen to the airplane song. I love that song.
Our seatbelt's still on. Oh boy, that was a treat. Our journey draws near. Thank you, pilot and crew. What an awesome adventure. And it's all thanks to you. If you want to see more, just check out our channel, Bricky Wreck. All right, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me, Brecky Wreck, and look where I'm at. This is Lincoln Park BMX here in Port Angeles, Washington. A BMX track is a bike track. Check it out. Wow, isn't that amazing? All right, well. BMX bike riding, so let's go learn. Come on, let's check out a bike. Brecky Breck, come along and play with me. Brecky Breck, now it's time to learn with Brecky Breck. Oh, wow, check these out. These are shipping containers. That's pretty cool. This is the bike shed, and this is where they store all the bikes that you can rent. Rent is another word for borrow. So if you don't have your own BMX bike, you can borrow one. Isn't that nice? Whoa. So here we have Strider bikes. These ones don't have any pedals. So these are for the little kids that are learning how to balance. Pretty cool. And over here we have a bunch of junior bikes. This is if you've just learned how to pedal and you still need a tinier bike. Really awesome, huh? And in this container, they have a lot of bigger bikes. Whoa! And a lot of helmets and a lot of riding gear like gloves and pants. Because when you're riding a BMX bike, you have to cover your elbows and your knees. You don't want them to get scraped up. And it's also very important to wear a helmet. Ooh, look at this helmet. It's got red on it and orange and yellow. That's a cool looking helmet. All right, well, maybe we should check one of these out close up. Come on, follow me. Check all these out. Oh my goodness. Look at these. This is a junior BMX bike. And this right here, this is a cruiser. This is about my size. I think I'm gonna ride this one. Let's look at it. Wow, check out this blue bike. Oh my goodness, it has a front tire and a back tire, a chain to go around. We've got the crank and the pedals. And look at these handlebars. This right here is the back brake. Wow, see that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, well I think I'm gonna try to ride this bike. I'm gonna put on a helmet really quick. All right, well, I think we're ready to go check out the track. Come on, let's go. Oh my goodness, check this out. Wow. So these right here are called shoots. And you all have to line up because there's typically a lot of riders here. So you got to get in a single file line and wait for your turn. Let's go up to the gate. See this gate right here? It doesn't look like a gate, but watch this. Whoa, did you see that? That right there is a hydraulic gate. It's got this little rough grid on it. So you see how rough and spiky that is? That's so it will grip into your tire when you've got your bike positioned where you want it. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness, look at this hill. That's a big hill. Do you see those lights down there? 
those lights signify when this gate's gonna drop. So a rider can sit on their bike and look at those lights and wait for it to turn green, or they can just look straight down and wait for that gate to drop. Isn't that awesome? Whoa! Look at this. This is the control for the gate. Should we try it out? All right, let's try it. Attention. the gate works and take a look at the track you want to try to ride it I think so come on let's go check it out oh boy now that I'm lined up on this big hill it looks a little bit scary maybe I should invite some people to come ride with me come on riders rider. Her name's Greta and she's gonna be on a strider in a little bit. So guys, this looks a little bit intimidating. Were you scared the first time you tried it, Miles? A little bit, but um, once you get used to it, it's really fun. Oh, cool. Is there anything special that you do with your feet when you get ready to start, Maverick? Uh, um, so you have to balance, stand up. When it, so when it says it's tension, please, you, you balance, stand up, when you go, you start pedaling down the hill. Oh my goodness, well, I'm gonna try to balance, but I'm not really sure I can do that yet. I'll try though. Oh, uh, I don't think I'm comfortable with that yet. Is it okay if I just leave my feet down for the first yeah, try? That's what I yeah, that's I first. Okay, so awesome. Okay, well, what do you think, Briar? Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Attention. Maverick, you got 
second place. Congratulations. And Briar, good job at coming in third. You guys were awesome. I present to you first place. Oh. Woo! <laughs> second place, sir. And third place, ma'am. You are so welcome. Thank wow, you guys, good job. That sure was a lot of fun. You wanna keep riding? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, sometimes when you're new to riding, you just wanna ride a strider like Greta here, huh? Well, I'm gonna go with Greta and we're gonna leave the gate down just so she can get used to what it feels like. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Let's go up to the gate. All right. All right, I'm gonna hold the back of her seat just so she knows that she's safe. You ready, Greta? Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Is that fun? Go, girl! Whoa, look at her go! Woohoo! She's super strong. Look at her go! Go, Greta! Good job. Whoa, Greta's flying by! Yeah, I did it! She did it! Woohoo! Oh boy! Well, this is my friend Cash. <laughs> he is an expert rider, which means he's really good. Wow, Cash, how long have you been riding? 12 years. 12 years? Holy cow! How many times have you won? Uh, a lot, more than I can count. More than he can count! Well, can we see you do a couple tricks? Sure. <laughs>
you. Thank you so much, Sean and Lincoln Park BMX. I sure had a lot of fun. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hi there, it's me, Becky Wreck. <gasps> Guess where I am? I'm in the desert, and I just got back from a big hike. And guess what? I set up a table over here to make a smoothie. Do you want to make a smoothie with me? Oh boy. are all the things that I need to make a smoothie. Wow, let's look at this fruit that we have. Well, in this bowl, we have frozen blueberries, blackberries, um, raspberries, and strawberries. Oh, do you like berries? I love berries, they're so yummy. And in this bowl, we have frozen mangoes. Look how bright yellow those are. I love the color yellow, it's my favorite color. And over here, we have frozen dragon fruit. Oh, have you ever tried dragon fruit before? Oh my goodness, I love trying so many different fruits and vegetables. It's really fun to try new things, and if I don't like it, that's okay. But if you keep trying stuff sometimes, sometimes you actually learn to like it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at this one right here. This is a bunch of leafy greens. It's got arugula and spinach and mm, romaine lettuce in it. Do you like lettuce? I love lettuce. And the last thing I have right here is a banana. You see this yellow banana? It's got a little bit of brown on it, but the more brown it has, the sweeter it is. So this one's perfect for a smoothie. It kind of looks like an old phone or a smiley face. Hello? Oh, hi, Uncle Teddy. Oh boy, I miss you. Yeah, I'm on a trip right now. I know, I miss you a lot, and I'll see you when I get home. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Oh boy, I love Uncle Teddy. I sure wish I could share this smoothie with him right now. But I'm glad you're here to help me make this smoothie. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I make a smoothie is put a little bit of greens in here. Since I'm the one drinking this smoothie, I don't mind touching it with my hands because I washed them. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some frozen mangoes. One of the reasons I put the greens in first is because, oops, because they need to get ground up really, really well. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna put our frozen dragon fruit. Look how vibrant that purple color is. Oh my goodness, nature is beautiful, isn't it? Wow, -wee. we don't need to use all of this fruit. I might get a tummy ache if I try to eat all that by myself. And then right here is the last berries. Oh my goodness, we got a couple strawberries in there. My hands are getting purple and sticky. <laughs> it's fun to make a mess sometimes if you're prepared to clean it up. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna put a banana in here. Ooh, peeling the banana, peeling the banana. Hey, do you know an animal that likes to eat bananas? <laughs> a monkey! Yeah! Monkeys like to eat bananas. Oh boy, I like to pretend I'm a monkey sometimes. <gasps> okay, look at this. See how colorful that is? That's beautiful. Now we add a liquid. I'm going to use water, but you can use milk if you want. to tell what color our smoothie was gonna be because we used so many different colors, huh? But since the passion fruit was purple, 
or I mean the dragon fruit was purple and the berries were purple, our smoothie turned out purple. Yeah! I love the color purple. All right, are you ready to try it? Oh, I'm so excited, it looks delicious. Check out all these cups. There's so many different colors. Do you know your colors? Do you wanna practice them with me? All right, here we go. Yellow, that one's my favorite. Green, my second favorite. Purple, that's a really light lavender purple, huh? Pink, I love the color pink. And blue, or teal, or green. It kind of looks teal, doesn't it? Wow, I love the colors. Oh, colors make me so happy, especially bright, fun colors. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way so you can see. All right, you ready? Ooh, how many do you think we can fill up? Oh. Whoa, you know what? I think I made the perfect amount. Look at that! <gasps> How many cups did I fill up? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five cups. Oh my goodness, I love the number five. I love everything. <laughs> All right, are we ready to try it? I'll try the yellow one. Mmm, it smells really yummy. We're using our senses. We're gonna smell it. Look at it, it looks beautiful. Taste it. That is so yummy. And it's so healthy too because we use all of these fruits and vegetables. Well, what am I gonna do with these other four cups? I have an idea. How about I share them? Okay, I'm gonna go get some friends to drink these smoothies, okay? Let's share this smoothie with my friends. Okay. Hello! Hi. Look at you guys! Hi there! Hi. Alright, so I'm bringing over my smoothie. Guess what? These are my four kids! <laughs> Did you know I have a son named Miles who's eight years old? A daughter named Briar, who's seven years old. A son named Maverick, who's six years Hi. old. And a little girl named Greta, who's three years old. Oh boy, well you guys, I made this yummy smoothie. I already drank out of the yellow one though, so would you like green, Miles? Yes, please. And how about purple for you, Briar? And blue for Maverick? Thank and you. And pink for Greta. You're welcome. All right, what do you guys think? Should we cheers? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Cheers! Cheers to healthy smoothies outside! <laughs> Did you notice that Greta's dressed like me? Oh my goodness! She loves watching my show too! <laughs> that is yummy. What do you think? Good. That's good. That's yummy. What do you think, Greta? Yummy. Yummy. Oh boy, I love drinking yummy smoothies, especially on hot days. Me too. Take some. Take some. Look at my mustache. <laughs> this is yummy. Oh boy, I finished mine really fast. I was super thirsty. Well, hey, do you guys want to dance with me? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's do it.
think we're gonna dance a little bit longer. But that's the end of this video. So thank you so much for making a smoothie with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Hey! I'm Brecky Breck, and I go on fun adventures here on YouTube. Do you want to go on fun adventures with me? If you search for my name, B-R-E-C-K-Y, B-R-E-C-K, or click the link down below, you can see all the fun places and things I love to explore. adventures. So I really hope your kids enjoy these adventures with me. I hope to see you in some of my other adventures. Bye-bye! <laughs>